Well, good afternoon, YouTube. It's, um, yeah, I feel a bit flat, actually, because the car isn't idling and I have no idea why. And when I was putting the video on last night, I just noticed that how much of a state the garage and my working environment is. And to be honest, I was a little, a little bit embarrassed. I mean, how's anything meant to work like this? It's, um, it's not good. It's not good at all. So... I think first things first, I need to really have a good look at myself and tidy up because it's, it, it needs to be a lot better than this. Um, and then I've got a lovely problem that I can methodically work through. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully feel a little bit better about things. And it's only a small problem and we can get over it. But uh, yeah, Ugh. it's draining. And this is meant to be... A, a good fun hobby for me and the, the the problem is it sometimes it sometimes takes over and then other aspects of my life suffer and then things aren't good so I have actually finished for Easter now so I've got some legitimate time this afternoon and all day tomorrow to um to get this sorted so we're going to have a clean garage then we're going to go through a very well thought out fault finding process for why this won't idle so you can join me on the journey. And yes, you have got to watch me cleaning up because that's part of what this project is. You get to see it warts and all. Right, that is so much better, so much better. I can walk around the garage now freely. The engine bay doesn't look like a fucking bomb's hit it. And that will, will make everything better. So what have I got here? Obviously I've got the tube tube for, that actually goes into the air filter, but I'll probably get rid of that. Um, I wanna get that fitted today as well, but my man, Mr. Parker, who sold me the um, carburettors said, he's never had an issue like this before and he's done 700 installs. And he said the problem is usually fuel. Oh dear. Yep. Or ignition timing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the simple stuff first. I'm gonna get the laptop plugged in and I'm gonna give it, make sure it's got timing at 500 RPM. See how it goes then I'm going to probably take the fuel tank out and give it a clean because you know what, I didn't do that. And if I was to take this to some fucking whiz kid mechanic, what would the first thing they do? They'd check, right, have we got a good clean fuel supply? So let's do that. First job, check the ignition timing, see if we get lucky, tank's coming out after. Okay, well, we're still getting the same issue where if I get the accelerator pumps involved, it will start up. And then die. So, next thing, we're gonna investigate fuel. Right, so my fault finding to see if it's a vacuum leak, I took off this vacuum hose and it ran terribly. It was spitting back through the carb. So, pretty confident I don't have a vacuum leak. I'm so sure it's a lack of fuel. So, um, about to unbolt the filter, which looks like it's got a load of sediment at the bottom, but you know, that other than that, it's very, very clear. So what I would suggest is it's probably fine, but it may have sucked something through at the beginning and blocked a pilot jet. So let's see. Right. Well, that's come off and I've cleaned it and it doesn't seem to have any more coming through it. So the next plan is these are meant to run between two and three psi and although that's showing just under three it is traveling the length of the car and then it's going from a what is it a five sixteenths pipe to seven sixteenths times two so there might be a bit of pressure drop so i'm going to give it um i'm going to give it four 
maybe four and a half and see if that makes any difference. The only problem I'm gonna experience is it will override the needle valve and piss petrol out, but I can cope with that for the argument of um, fault finding. I just want to read a sodding gauge. There we go. Six. So I reckon that is at four and a half. So let's see what four and a half does. Do I? Will I maybe be getting three up front? Hopefully. Let's see. New ways of working. Tidy tools away after you've used them. So, um, I'll get the tripod set up and we will whip, whip this one off, take the bottom off and have a look, see what we can find. Oh. It's also a good demonstration of how quick it is to take these carbs off. So I've got all my, my kit, basically a screwdriver and a clean, clean receptacle. So let's see what we've got in the f in the float bowl, fuel bowl, float bowl. So yeah, one one screw there to take that off, and then these. This isn't very accessible, but I've made it that way to make it look nicer. There you go. The carb is off. Nice and easy. Obviously, I haven't got the intermediate shaft or any cables attached, but still, I'll try and do it out with a. Draining off what fuel I can. Seems to be most of it. Move that out of the way. And then, I'll put a load of blue roll down here. Will inevitably be some that has been missed, and then we just now what screw do these use? Now, is that a Phillips or is it a JIT or whatever they call it? I'll be upfront and honest, I don't have those fancy Japanese screwdrivers. This isn't even a Phillips, it's a posi drive. Ooh. Actually, I will need a better screwdriver. <laughs> right, let's see how these little bad boys get on. Nope, that wasn't going to happen. So I had to get them off and in a vice. And they came they off with a bit of, uh, tight. A a bit of grit. That, that doesn't look quite right. Mm. There. There be muck. We put my little pinky in. Let me put a little bit of blue roll in there. I think I've got some muck in it, which is great. Brilliant news because muck can be cleaned. I can clean carbs. That is something that is within my capability. Um, so, I don't want to do any more. Just nip that up, I won't tighten it, because it'll be coming off again. was Stan I would have a plan so I'm not going to flush through the lines I'll do that after I've cleaned the tank then I'll flush it through 
and after I've flushed it through, I will then clean the filter and put a new filter in. So clean tank, flush, change filter at the end. Put clean carbs on, keep fingers crossed and hope for the best. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I managed to get the, I've got these in a vice and took it apart and it's, it's not the cleanest in there. It's by no means filthy though. However, I couldn't see through that before I gave it a quick blow. Um, maybe I should have got the missus to do it. It'd have been a bit cleaner, but I think that might be the problem. That's the pilot jet, 22.5. Um, so I'm going to go and get a... Now, do you want carb cleaner? Because I don't think carb cleaner likes rubber. I'm going to go and get a load of brake cleaner because for some unknown reason, all mine's disappeared. And I'm going to just give these a massively forensically good clean. And then I've been swilling the tank out. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't film it, but you know what it looks like. Um, I've been filtering it through these, which, uh, you know, that was what came out of it. And it's still doing it a little bit, but it's, I mean, it's not immaculate in there, but it's not bad, bad. You know, it's not loose. So I can't do a treatment on it, which I'd like to, because the, the pickup isn't removable. So any treatment I do will block the pickup pipe. Um, so I'm just going to keep on swilling this out with the, the fuel. And then, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get a hold of another filter over bank holiday weekend. Probably not, so I won't be able to test it. Which is frustrating, isn't it? Right. Here we are in my humble abode. Hope you can see everything because I can't see the camera screen. Yeah, there you can see it's not cleanest especially around here so, not a particularly nice color no oh. bowl looks okay we'll set that to one side we'll move on to the needles smaller sits back in there. Now the accelerator pump jet. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my daughter upstairs. A noisy beast at the best of times. Right, that's pushed back in. So now we'll take the pilot jet. No way that pilot jet was this clean when I first took it out. It were filthy. I'll just set that to one side for a second. Clean as a whistle. The accelerator pump came out of the mug that came through. Just a blast. See issues I've caused myself by having that mucky fuel tank. Oh, I feel such a plum, but what can you do, eh? Okay, bad in actually. Now we do have the problem of the, the gasket. I don't know if I'm going to need to order a new one of these or if they're meant to be oversized. It's too big. It's way too big. Is it? Meadow 
be rolled in. Well, look at that. I just sort of kind of went, yeah, okay, you've played with me enough. I'm, I'm ready to let you in now. Hmm. Well, it's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's get this back on. Firstly, because I've forgotten to put the float back in. Secondly, I want to clean up the, the choke a little bit. So what are my observations after taking these apart and giving them a clean? Well, first of all, they were mucky. You know, I dropped a massive, a massive one there with the fuel tank being filthy. But I have also noticed that the, I, I'm not sure if the um, needle valve was correctly installed on the floats. So there's a, I've always installed, there's a little spring on top of the needle valve and I've always installed it over the float. It wasn't like that, and the measurement was 24 mil when it should be 18 float height. When I put the guard over it, the little spring, it was like 18.08 on both. Now, the float height is key to the pilot jet getting fuel. So, what my argument is, even if it was blocked up a little bit, it would sort of try and run at idle, you know, but there was just nothing. It's like dropped down to idle, went onto the pilot jet, it's like, yeah, done. Nothing there. Which would make sense that the float heights weren't high enough. And that was compounded by the fact that there was muck in the fuel system. So, yes. I'm tempted to give them a go tomorrow. I mean, what's the worst that happens? They get mucky again, I'll take them off and clean them. Um, you know, I'll just run the fuel system through a few times, make sure that's pristine. Give them a go, I'm tempted. I think I might have found it. Right, um, I'm gonna go and do some editing now and enjoy another cheap, non-alcoholic lager. Living the high life on my Easter Thursday. Yay.